Greetings from Chandrasekhar Nene, expert on international affairs from Maha MTB channel. Welcome to Maha MTB. I have Mr. Yogesh Kumbhar as my videographer. Uh, I did a video yesterday specifically on the status of United States as a superpower or not so superpower. I didn't think at that time that whatever I was saying in the video would be proven in the coming two hours. Sadly, that is what has happened. Right two hours after the video was aired or the video was done on Kabul's Hamid Karzai airport, two blasts took place. In the two blasts, innocent passengers, innocent bystanders and American Marines and other soldiers were hit. 13 soldiers, 12 marines and one other, one sailor have died in the blast. Around 18 of them have been seriously injured. Some 60 to 70 Afghan people have died in the blast. According to Taliban, 18 Taliban uh, guards also died. Taliban says that these blasts were carried out by ISIS. Um, well, it may be carried out by ISIS, it may not be carried out by ISIS, you never know in such cases. But the reality is American soldiers have died. And this is a big blow to the superpower status of America. You know, in, Talib, uh, in the uh, Kabul airport itself, around five to 6,000 American soldiers are placed. Kabul airport is currently under the security of uh, American soldiers and some NATO soldiers. Despite that, the ISIS slash Taliban slash other the, uh, Islamic terrorists felt emboldened enough to go and blast there. And according to President of America, Mr. Joe Biden, who after this uh, sad incident came on the national channels in America and said a few things. One of the things he said is, I already told you that such blasts may occur. What are we trying to say? There is no fear left among the uh, terrorists in this world that America's, America will take revenge on them. Is this how you treat a superpower? That actually shows the lack of superpower status of America. And then uh, Mr. President went on saying that uh, uh, we will find you wherever you are. We will not forget. We will not forgive. We will go and attack you wherever you are. All very big bombastic words, such words are necessary because the political scenario in America, the American public is very angry at their president. For putting their own civilian people and uh, uh, military people under harm's way, they knew that Kabul embassy is going to be under harm's way. Despite that, they removed Bagram Airbus uh, uh, Air Base uh, people. Bagram Air Base was the biggest uh, uh, America's base in Afghanistan. They removed all the soldiers from Bagram. They actually remember they actually went uh, back in, on a midnight, leaving all the big uh, sophisticated weaponry as a parting gift to Taliban. And now they are saying that Taliban, uh, uh, American president actually said that Taliban had uh, for guaranteed guarding of uh, American interests there till we leave, till 31st of August. That's what he was saying. I mean, this is really crazy. Why you had to depend on a small uh, uh, regional uh, terrorist power like Taliban for safety of your own citizens? Your citizens have died. At the same time, I must congratulate the Indian government that Indian citizens and India's friends uh, in Afghanistan have been successfully brought back to India under Operation Devi Shakti launched uh, by Ministry of External Affairs of India. More than 800 people have been brought back successfully and more are on the way back. How are we able to do that when America is facing these problems? Looks like the status of Indian government has a high ranking in the minds of Taliban, possibly. That's why Taliban didn't harm interests of Indians who were coming back. Looks like our government had told them that you don't harm our people or else. This is one possibility. Another possibility is there are 500 cro uh, or more than 500 projects running in Afghanistan made by India's help. And those projects, if they have to still run, they will need India's help further. So maybe that is one of the reasons why Taliban decided not to harm India. But this is definitely a feather in cap of India that we managed to do that. Another important thing happened in India is yesterday there was a consensus of 
all the parties in india towards what government of india is doing as a policies in afghanistan this is very important in america currently there seems to be a kind of division among the american political scenario uh, between not only democrats and republicans but even in some democrat senators are also questioning the behavior of uh, current administration which is the democrat administration and true to his form joe biden left a lot uh, slight parting shot but remember this was all trump's doing he had initiated this proceedings and trump had already explained that my proceedings had been initiated but i had given a different plan of evacuation which biden administration has not followed they went on to their own plan god knows what their plan was this is a this is a point of debate which we will debate further some other time but today i want to draw your attention to another important point here according to united nations high commissioner for refugees unhcr in 2020 alone there have been 8 and 1/2 crores or 82 million refugees in the world 82 million refugees in the world pa part of those numbers are because of natural disasters like floods hurricanes uh, earthquakes and things like that but remember the people who are displaced because of natural disasters after the disasters are over they go back to their place and start their life anew <clears throat> but a major portion of these refugees a most uh, big portion is from syria by the way the major portion of these refugees is because of religious jihads is because of religious uh, terrorists religious terrorism isis taliban um, hezbollah all these different uh, use of terrors terror are troubling the local resident they are either throwing away the min out the minority or throwing out the people who don't agree with them and such people then they leave those countries and go and settle in some other countries now when they leave they have nothing in their hands so they have to be settled at a cost and that cost has to be borne by the country which is settling them so for some stupid action by some jealots somebody else has to foot the bill in some countries like germany they need some labor they get some labor using these refugees and all that's a very minor uh, kind of percentage there but the majority of the countries have to suffer the taxpayers of those countries actually pay for settling these refugees this has to stop somewhere india has gone through that in 1971 when 60 lakh Uh, around uh, 6 million refugees from bangladesh erstwhile is pakistan had come to india finally they did go back some of them did go uh, didn't go back but most of them did go back but we had to foot the bill for all those refugees and who footed the bill we the taxpayers of india footed the bill somewhere all the countries all sensible countries have to come together and decide there has to be stop to this kind of thing the jealots don't pay for this we pay for this with the democratic people with the uh, uh, open people with the people who respect all faiths we pay for these actions of these jealots apart from the trouble they cause to their own compatriots who, who become refugees the bill has to be footed by us and this is the time for all such countries to have a consensus to put a stop on this maybe use a united nations force maybe use a common uh, Uh, superpower force or whatever but we have to crush these religious jihadism everywhere so that no more refugees are generated to put a drain on our own resources i want you to ponder over this this is the thought which nobody has put forward so far i will be doing some more videos on this thought i would like your comments on what i have said in this video so that i can uh, answer partly to them i can also give some more details on many things and thank you for watching this video If you like it please share it with your friends and uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel if you press the bell icon then our new videos will be immediately intimated to you thanks for watching